Welcome to the Kilgray online tutorial to get started with MemoQ. In the third module of this 10 part series, we will look at word counts, analysis, and some more translation functionalities. We will show you how to create statistics for your documents and how to deal with tags and non translatables. This module will take between 10 and 15 minutes to go through. At the end, there will be three questions to test your understanding of the topics that were covered. Very often, you receive similar documents for translation from the same client. New documents could then be added to an existing project. To find out how much of the new document has already been translated before, you can then create statistics on the document. These statistics can show you how many words need to be translated, what kind of match rates you can expect from your translation memory during translation. The documents could also contain more than just text, which means there could be placeholders, so called tags, that need to be considered during translation. This presentation will show you how to do the following Add a new document to an existing project, run statistics for word counts and match rates. Work with tags, that is placeholders for images, formatting, and non translatables, and take a closer look at the color indicators for matches between 95 and 99%. To get started with the translation, a project needs to be open. So after starting MemoQ, you will see the list of projects. Double click the project that contains your documents for translation. The project home screen appears. The translations area lists all the documents in your project. Use the import command or the import folder structure command on the documents ribbon tab to add new documents or folder structures to your project. Before you start the translation of the new documents, you might want to know how similar they are to previous documents, that is how much you will be able to reuse from your TM. To compare the segments from the new document to the contents of the TM attached to the project, select the document and click on the Statistics button on the Documents ribbon tab. Or use the Context menu by right-clicking on the document and select Tasks Statistics. There are some options that you can use to customize the statistics. Select the scope for the statistics, that means the selected document, all documents in the project. Select to create word counts using the MemoQ way of counting or the Trados like way of counting, which counts like SDL Trados. Select the analysis to create the statistics on the matches that you can expect during translation. And then click on Calculate to show the statistics for the word and segment counts and the statistics for the match rates. Export the statistics to a table format, which can be opened in Excel with the Export button. The statistics give you a good overview of how much needs to be translated and how much recycling you can expect from the TM or DTMs. After creating and saving the statistics, close the Statistics dialog. In Project Home Translations area, double click the document to open in the Translation Editor. When you open a document in the Translation Editor, the first segment never shows an automatically inserted translation. A translation can only be inserted automatically when you use the Confirm function to go from one segment to the next. To insert a translation from the results list for the first segment, press Ctrl and the number in the red field of the segment in the results list. A 101% match means that this segment has been translated in the same context before. Sometimes you will see colored elements in the source segments that could be red, purple or gray. These are placeholders for things like formatting, images or maybe tab characters. Most tags need to be used in the translation as well to ensure correct formatting. 
Copy the tags with the copy next tag sequence command from the quick access ribbon tab. Use the shortcut F9 or copy the complete source segment including the tags with the copy source to target command. There are different kinds of tags for each file format. Tags can be placeholders for formatting like superscript, bold, italics or they can be placeholders for structure elements like tabs, images or line breaks. Tags should be copied to the target segments so that the formatting of the source text can be applied to the target text as well. Tags in MemoQ can look like this. The ones with the curly brackets are mostly structure tags and have to be kept in the translation. Otherwise you cannot export the translation anymore. Working with these tags in the translation takes some getting used to. If you forget a tag, a warning icon will appear, a yellow flash symbol, to notify you of this omission as soon as you confirm the segment. Double click the flash icon to view the error message. Even if there is no flash icon to tell you about a possible mistake in the translation, there can be other indicators to tell you that you might need to adjust some things in the translation suggestion. So in addition to text differences, MemoQ will also tell you if there are other differences, for example regarding spaces or tags. Check the color indicators at the bottom right hand side for the actual differences. Here the indicators show differences in tags, the blue indicator means the match from the TM does not contain a tag and spacing marked by the pink indicator. And again, if you confirm a segment where a tag is missing, you will see the flash icon. Depending on the tag you are missing, you might also see a red exclamation mark. This mark indicates that a required tag is missing. If you do not correct this error, you will not be able to export the translated file from MemoQ. You can also add tags using the keyboard. Place the cursor where the tag should be placed in the target segment, press the control key and release. Then select the tag from the list of proposed elements from the source segment. Then confirm your choice with enter. This function is called auto pick. Something else that might be quite useful during translation is to mark any terms that should not be translated. If your document contains names of products or companies that should not be translated, they can be marked as non-translatables. In Project Home, go to Settings and Non-Translatables. There you can create a list of such names. These names will appear in the text with a grey background. In the results list, these names will appear in grey as well, to show you that they should not be changed. You can create a list of non-translatables at any time. Go to the project home, then go to the settings area, click on non-translatables and click on create new to create a new list. Then enter a name for the list. After the list has been created, you can add elements to it now or later during translation. Click the edit link to open the list. Enter the terms in the input field. Then click on the add link to add them to the list. If you want to add non-translatables during translation, mark the term in the source segment and then Click on the Add Non-Translatables command on the Quick Access Ribbon tab. Check the spelling and click OK to save the term to the list. If a non-translatable is found in the source text, it will be marked with a grey background. The results list will show the non-translatable in grey as well. This concludes the second part of the translation functionalities. The next module in this series will show you how to work with terminology. 
On the next slide, we will ask you some questions that will help you to test your knowledge on translating in MemoQ. And here comes the quiz. First question. What kind of information can you get through these statistics? The possible answers are The statistics can show the word counts and the match rates to expect The statistics only show the number of words in one document Or the statistics will show you how many numbers your document contains The correct answer is The statistics can show the word counts and the match rates to expect Second question What are tags? The possible answers are Tags are placeholders for images only. Tags can be placeholders for images, formatting or structural elements like tabs or line breaks or tags are placeholders for formatting only. The correct answer is Tags can be placeholders for images, formatting or structural elements like tabs or line breaks. Third question. What does it mean when text has a grey background in the source segment? The possible answers are Text with a grey background should not be used in the translation. Text with a grey background is a non-translatable and should be used but not changed in the translation. Or Text with a grey background has been locked and cannot be used in the translation. The correct answer is Text with a grey background is a non-translatable and should be used but not change in the translation. Thank you for watching this tutorial. The next module will show you how to work with terminology. This tutorial was created with MemoQ 2015. The tutorial was created by Loctimize for Kilgrade Translation Technologies.